story starts with Mo Yuan states Emperor Mo Yan Yu and he said I don't like these characters, your majesty, please calm down today is Mo Yan Yu and birthday he asked beloved subjects, have you prepared other presents? This subject pays my respects to your majesty, oh, you are? This subject is Nei Ayan, an envoy from Yanjing state, our king has prepared a special present for your majesty and hopes it can bring forth a smile wishing your majesty good fortune and longevity, small girl was in a box and full of sleepy eyes and woke up and asked are we home yet? She jumped up and landed on Mo Yuan and said Papa, I've finally met you, so hi other people thought to themselves what is going on, girl gave her introduction I'm Mo Ji O Jiao, an estranged princess of Mo Yuan state, in my previous life, I entered the palace when I was nine yet witnessed the murder of my papa, this time, I entered the palace six years earlier I must save my papa, and the whole of Mo Yuan state, however, something's a bit strange right now emperor thought to himself this little dirty beggar, is the present your Yanjing state prepared for me? Mercy, your majesty, this subject does not recognize this child, I had originally prepared Orion fruit. I don't know how this child came suddenly small girl said Jiao Jiao is not a little beggar, but Jiao Jiao was the one who ate the durian, Papa, don't punish the mister, Jiao Jiao will pay you back with silver, alright? Alright, very good, at present, any random wild child, can dare claim to be my daughter? Eunuch Lin, take this food thieving little beggar out, then give twenty plank beatings, your majesty, please reconsider. What if she really is a princess? I have a token, this is the jade talisman that Mama gave Jiao Jiao. Mama said that Papa would definitely recognize Jiao Jiao. Emperor thought this jade talisman could it be that woman? If I look closely, this little beggar's eyes, brows and hair are quite similar to hers. Is it possible she really is your majesty? If you really are doubtful, this servant can arrange for someone to investigate it? Send her to the fairy sea palace, before the matter is clarified, do not allow her out, I'll first bring her for a bath, just in case fairy sea palace taking a bath is so comfy I didn't expect papa's still as scary as the rumors said in my previous life now there's rumors around the palace that Yan Jing state's envoy will be executed you must not contradict the emperor again, with how irritable papa's temperament is, wouldn't I be doomed if he were to discover I'm a mermaid? No matter what, the top priority right now is to not let Mr. Envoy die. If he dies, the two states will go to war and mistakes will be repeated. This matter should not be delayed. I better hurry to go see Papa. R. She's coming out. Starkly resembles the Emperor when he was younger. Even if Papa wants to punish someone, Giovio should be the one being punished. The emperor asked to his man what have you found out, the servant began reporting. Your majesty, this humble subordinate has discovered that four years ago, Lady Chen entered the Mo family in marriage while already three months pregnant, after giving birth, she vanished without a trace. The servant began his report. Your majesty, I have gathered that, according to the neighbors, the little princess resembles that child. I never expected that the little beggar would actually be my daughter, the emperor, deep in thought, asked, what could that woman's motive be in sending her to me, a servant interrupted, your majesty, I must report something, that child indeed looks just like you did at her age, she must be your biological daughter? The emperor replied coldly, I already know, I was informed by the shadow guards before this, he then commanded, call Moji Oji Ao here. I will dine with her. Later, little Jiao Jiao beamed with excitement, wow, so much delicious food, thank you, papa, Jiao Jiao is going to start eating now, the side servants thought, what an adorable princess, while others murmured, the emperor is terrifying. After a while, the emperor looked at her sternly, let me ask you, where is your mother now? The small girl replied innocently, I don't know where mama is, but she promised me, as long as I get through this, she'll come for me, we made a pinky promise. She jumped down from her chair and ran over to the emperor, then we can go out and play as a family, right, papa? The emperor's expression darkened, he grabbed her by the hair and hissed, 
Do you think the palace is a place you can come and go as you please? What is your mother's motive in sending you here to get close to me? Confused, the little girl muttered to herself. Motive, to get close? She remembered her mother's words, Zhao, return to Mo Yuan state to protect Papa, the Emperor, deep in thought, observed her closely, even her smile is just like that woman's, he lifted her effortlessly and sneered, H, a little thing like you wants to protect me, Chi Jiao, eyes full of determination, responded, I'm very capable, the Emperor put her down and coldly declared, fine, let's see what you and your mother are scheming, he then turned to his attendants, pass down my degree, bestow her the title of ninth princess and assign a nanny to teach her proper etiquette. The attendants bowed, ninth princess, quickly express your gratitude. Meanwhile, another servant rushed in, your majesty, I must report, the envoy from Yanjing state is protesting in the prison and demands to see the sixth prince, he insists on negotiating directly with you. The emperor smirked. A mere envoy dares act so arrogantly, drag him out and execute him. Chi Jiao, tugging on her father's robes, pleaded, Papa, why are you going to kill Mr. Envoy? He's innocent. The emperor's voice was icy, because he ruined my gift yesterday, what, do you have an objection? Terrified, Chi Jiao thought, Papa is so scary, no, I can't let him leave like this, Mo One State will suffer if this happens, determined. She clutched her dress and thought, I'm not afraid, I'll protect Mo Wan State and Papa. With tears in her eyes, she confessed, it was me who ate the Dorian. If you need to punish someone, punish me, Papa. You can't just kill people without distinguishing right from wrong. The Emperor's lips curled into a dangerous smile, very brave of you. You dare challenge my decision all by yourself? Fine, I'll help you. He turned to his guards. Take her away and give her ten plank beatings, a servant cried out, Your Majesty, the little princess is only three years old, ten plank beatings will kill her, please show leniency, the Emperor's gaze sharpened, you're refusing to hit her, bring me a ruler, I'll do it myself, Chi Jiao, determined to please him, thought to herself, Chi Jiao can do it, Chi Jiao just wants to make Papa happy, as the Emperor pulled her hand, her fate hung in the balance. The emperor pulled the little girl's hand and gave her a beating. The small girl felt a sharp sting, her hand red and swollen as tears welled up in her eyes. This hurts so much, she thought, feeling sad. A servant hurried over, little princess, I'll get you some ointment right away, please wait. But Chi Jiao, in a soft voice, called out, Papa, she raised her small, trembling hands, asking for a hug and kisses. The Emperor, though he found children troublesome, still lifted her into his arms. The servant returned, the ointment is here, can Papa help Chi Jiao put it on? The Emperor replied, give it to me, I'll apply it. As he began, he suddenly said to the little girl, you ate my birthday present and ruined my mood, how should I settle this matter with you? Chi Jiao glanced at her hand, now uneven from the swelling, but still bravely replied, Chi Jiao can give you a new birthday present, no matter what Papa asks, Chi Jiao will agree. The Emperor smiled faintly, how silly, then he spoke, I will spare the Yanjing state's envoy, but on one condition, he set her down and continued, you must go into seclusion at Fairy Sea Palace and study etiquette for two months, if you don't learn it well, don't expect to see me again. Do you understand? The little girl was shocked but managed to say, Rest assured, Papa, with how much Jiao Jiao loves studying, I'll surely complete the mission obediently. However, as she wandered into the Imperial Garden, she thought to herself, what's studying? As if I'd enjoy that, being forced to study etiquette every day, she sighed, it wasn't easy to get out, I'm going to have heaps of fun. Suddenly, she overheard a voice, Sixth Prince, why do this? If you just acknowledge your wrongdoing to the Emperor, you wouldn't have to kneel in punishment, who's that? Chi Jiao thought, her curiosity peaked, but someone shouted, who's there? She panicked, I'm going to get found out, desperate, she did something funny, she lay flat on the ground, a servant soon spotted her and exclaimed, oh my, little princess, 
What are you doing here? The girl responded confidently, I was just passing by, uncle, you can't see me. The sixth prince, observing this, thought it was childish, the back of your clothes is already showing. Haven't you realized? Gio Jiao froze, Gio Jiao is not childish, she protested, and then glanced at the prince, he looks familiar, a chill ran through her, it's him, in my previous life, he invaded Mo Yuan state and killed Papa, his aura is so strong, I don't dare to move. Still, she bravely asked, pretty brother, what's wrong? A servant spoke up, this is Yan Jing state's sixth prince, and a hostage in our Mo Yuan state, the emperor has made him kneel in punishment for defending the envoy. Chiu Jiao quickly said, Papa has already promised not to kill Mr. Envoy, quickly get up, pretty brother. The sixth prince thanked her, but added, I should still be punished for contradicting the emperor, the princess should leave this place. Chiu Jiao felt a surge of frustration, why is he still being so stubborn? She asked, then what will make pretty brother be willing to get up? The prince smiled and asked, is that a genuine question, princess? Yes. Of course, then, he said, his voice calm, I would like to ask the princess to help me with something, if I want the emperor to personally apologize to me, can the princess help me achieve it? The little girl thought to herself, apologize to the handsome brother? That's impossible, papa wouldn't do that, the request he made is just too difficult. The sixth prince smiled and said, I'm only joking, princess. Since the emperor has already promised not to harm the envoy, I feel at ease now, thank you for your concern, princess, I'll take my leave. As the prince turned to leave, he thought, seems like I knelt for too long, the little girl hurriedly offered, handsome brother, Chiu Jiao can help you, no need, he replied. She asked, are you upset because Chiu Jiao couldn't help you? Her mind raced, trying to figure out what to do, suddenly. An idea struck her, I've got it, having a friend to play with will surely make him happy, I just need to befriend him. Excited by her idea, she thought, Jiao Jiao is so clever. Meanwhile, her servant interjected, little princess, I need to return to his majesty, did you hear me? But Jiao Jiao was already running after the prince, handsome brother, are you going home? Pitter patter, pitter patter. Where is your home? Can Ji Jiao come with you? Does someone at your house make you study all the time? The questions kept coming until the sixth prince finally snapped. Can you stop following me? Shocked, Ji Jiao stammered. But, Ji Jiao is stuck. Can you help me? The prince sighed, thinking to himself, what am I even doing? He pulled her out of the spot she was stuck in, and she asked softly, doesn't handsome brother like Ji Jiao? You were just so fierce. Jiao Jiao only wants to play with you, we can be good friends, the prince stopped walking and asked, do you really want to be my friend, princess? Of course, she exclaimed, he called out, little black, come here, confused, Jiao Jiao looked around, little black? She echoed, wondering who he was talking about, to her shock, a snake slithered into view, the prince smirked, little black is my best friend, if you can befriend little black. I'll let you get close to me, can you do it? Jiao Jiao trembled but managed to stammer, I can't. She was so frightened that she lay down on the ground, trying to talk to the snake. Snakey, don't eat Jiao Jiao, TSK, I knew it. The prince looked down at her, princess, you'd better leave. But Jiao Jiao shook her head, no, I can't give up. I have to protect Papa and the Mo Yuan state, mustering her courage. She stuttered, S Snakey. H hello. I'm Jiao Jiao, I I'm not afraid of you, let's be friends. The prince raised an eyebrow, this kid is trembling with fear, yet she's still persisting. To her surprise, the snake gently touched her palm, and her fear melted away. Look, snakey likes Jiao Jiao, she said excitedly. Handsome brother, we're best friends now, she smiled brightly. Mama says friends should share things. She took out a piece of candy and offered it to the prince. Here, handsome brother, this candy is for you. It's really yummy. Jiao Jiao didn't even want to eat it herself. But the prince's expression darkened. Why are you trying to get close to me? Are you like the others? He threw the candy away, and Jiao Jiao's heart sank. 
my candy, she whispered, the prince glared, are you trying to make a fool out of me? Chiyo Jia recoiled, remembering what had happened five years ago, Yan Jing State stole Papa's weapons, he led troops to defeat them, and took handsome brother as a hostage, the people of Mo Yuan don't like him, they mock him, that's why handsome brother keeps everyone at a distance, but Jiu Jia won't be like them, I want to protect you, handsome brother, that's why I'm getting close to you. The prince was deep in thought, is this child really the emperor's daughter? I don't need your protection, he said firmly, it's getting late, you should go back, uneasy, Jiu Jia asked. Does that mean handsome brother agrees to be my friend? When did I ever agree to that? Ah, handsome brother goes back on his words, she pouted. Then, she demanded, if we're not friends, then you have to return my candy. Just then, a voice called out, brother Jinglin, are you alright? When I heard imperial father punished you, I came immediately. 